Krishna 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 He Krishna 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Sri Sarabhya Namaha Om Sri Sarabhya Namaha Shri Sarabhyay Namaha Om Shri Sarabhyay Namaha Om Shri Sarabhyay Namaha Om Shri Sarabhyay Namaha Mukam Karoti Vacharam Pangum Langayate Girim Yat Kripat Maham Bande Shri Garam Dhinataranam Yat Kripat Maham Bande Shri Garam Dhinataranam Hare Krishna. As we were discussing briefly yesterday at the Istagosti, <clears throat> certain days of the week we will be uh, selecting for <clears throat> reading and hearing from different uh, shastra or different subject matters, uh, we identified <clears throat> the uh, Prabhupada Lilamrita, which is already happening on every Kadasi uh, here at the SSKBK. And uh, the other two were <clears throat> on the topic of Varnasram, the compilation um, by Hare Krishna Dasi entitled Speaking About Varnasram. We will keep that for every Sunday, that means tomorrow. And uh, the other very important topic <clears throat> in which um, there are numerous references to both Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam is the uh, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. So, <clears throat> um, I think Saturday is a good day for that as well. Saturday can be reserved for hearing about the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <clears throat> by reading um, section by section the uh, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita and uh, <clears throat> Sunday will be speaking about Varnasrama and Srila Prabhupada Dilamrita on every Ekadasi. It could be on a weekly basis as well that we can discuss later. <clears throat> as we normally do when we, uh, before reciting the uh, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, um, we can all repeat together. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya times of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are divided into three 
main sections are the Lila, Madhya Lila and Ancha Lila. So the Adi Lila is referring to the Lord's pastimes from his appearance up to his taking sannyas. That means the first 24 years of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, <clears throat> pastimes are described in the Adi Lila. And then the Madhya Lila is covering the uh, <clears throat> period whereby the Lord is traveling uh, to different places in India, <clears throat> introducing the Harinam Sankirtan, and uh, he does this for a period of six years, from the age of 24 to the age of 30. <clears throat> that is Madhya Lila. And then Ancha Lila covers the last 18 years of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's manifest pastimes. <clears throat> that means from the age of 30 till the age of 48. <clears throat> that is <clears throat> the last section uh, or final pastimes of the Lord referred to as <clears throat> Ancha Vila. Srila Prabhupada was, <clears throat> of course, totally absorbed in translating and giving to the world the Srimad Bhagavatam. But on the request of some devotees, he took some precious time uh, off of his translation of the Srimad Bhagavatam to give us this translation of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. And this he did within a relatively short period of time. And the uh, entire <clears throat> series of uh, Adi Lila, Madhya Lila, and Ancha Lila were also published and printed in a very short period of time. <clears throat> so <clears throat> we will, similar to how we do for the Sima Bhagavatam, we will go by chapter by chapter. <clears throat> And at the beginning of every chapter, we will give a summary. We will basically read the summary that Srila Prabhupada has given, and then uh, begin one or two verses, um, depending on <coughs> depending on the time factor and Amrita reports are there. <coughs> so this is. Chapter 1 of Adi Lila, <clears throat> uh, Introduction. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is none other than the combined form of Sri Radha and Krishna. <clears throat> Simply to know that there is Radha and Krishna to begin with is uh, very confidential knowledge. <clears throat> As we were mentioning the other day, in our Vaishnava Sampradaya, uh, this uh, understanding, this realization of Radha and Krishna was uh, up until the advent of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, or maybe just a few acharyas who came before him, was very concealed and not discussed very extensively. <clears throat> what to speak of uh, of one personality, namely Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, being that combined uh, combination <clears throat> of, uh, or the combined form as mentioned here, of Radha and Krishna. He, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is the life of those devotees 
who strictly follow in the footsteps of Srila Rupa Goswami. Therefore, the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are known or referred to as Rupanugas, Rupanugas following in the uh, footsteps of Sri Rupa Goswami. Sri Rupa Goswami and Sri Sanatana Goswami are the two principal followers of Sri Swarup Damodar Goswami, who Swarup Damodar Goswami acted as the most confidential servitor of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, known as Vishwambhar in his early life. <clears throat> A direct disciple of Srila Rupa Goswami was Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. The author of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, stands in the direct stands as the direct disciple of Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. <clears throat> How that is, <laughs> one disciple has two. Uh, the details are not given here. Sometimes a person takes Harinam and then his guru is no longer available and one takes so like this. Or sometimes one is very, very close to two uh, gurus or spiritual masters and he is known or connected with those two personalities. I don't know the actual details here. <clears throat> Second paragraph of the introduction. The direct disciple of Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami was... Let's just fill in the blanks. <laughs> <clears throat> Srila Narutam Das Thakur. <clears throat> who accepted Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti as his servitor. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur accepted Srila Jagannath Das Babaji, who initiated Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who in turn initiated Srila Gorkishor Das Babaji, the spiritual master, of Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj, the Divine Master of our humble self, properly speaking. Yeah. So this is the parampara, good parampara, explained here by Srila Prabhupada. <clears throat> Since we belong to this chain of disciplic succession from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the addition of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita will contain nothing newly manufactured by our tiny brain, <laughs> properly speaking, but only remnants of foodstuff originally eaten by the Lord himself. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not belong to the mundane plane of the three qualitative modes. He belongs to the transcendental plane beyond the reach of the imperfect sense per perception of the living being. Even the most erudite mundane scholar cannot approach the transcendental plane unless he submits himself to transcendental sound with 
a receptive mood. For in that mood only, in that mood only, can one realize the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this mood uh, is very often referred to and most essential. Mood is translated in Sanskrit. We have a Sanskrit scholar here. What is mood? It is, you know it, but you, you know it, but you don't know it. <laughs> Mood is bhava. What is bhava? Mood. <laughs> yeah, bhava. <clears throat> no problem. <laughs> they should teach that in the first class. <laughs> There are three levels of bhakti. What are the three levels of bhakti? This will help your Sanskrit also. <laughs> what are the three terms for bhakti? Sadhana. Ah, the first one is sadhana bhakti. Second, bhava bhakti. And third, prema bhakti. Yes. We begin at sadhana, not at prema. <laughs> Some people want to jump <laughs> and do, but they fall down, <laughs> usually. We begin at sadhana. <clears throat> so Lord Chaitanya, uh, I mean, Srila Prabhupada making this very nice point that it is not, the subject matter of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes cannot be understood uh, by our material intelligence cannot be understood by mundane scholars. It must it must be received and can only be understood through transcendental sound. And as Prabhupada mentions here, um, <clears throat> unless one submits himself unless he submits himself to transcendental sound with a receptive mood, for in that mood only can one realize the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What will be described herein, therefore, has nothing to do with the experimental thoughts created by the speculative, speculative habits of inert minds. <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning? Another word for inert? Inactive. Huh? Inert. No inertia. Motionless. Yeah. Actionless. Thoughtlessness. <laughs> Yeah, means, uh, what is it? <clears throat> okay. Dead brain. Brainless. <laughs> <laughs> Brainless, yes. Yes. It actually means, uh, just like in the Shastra, we have <clears throat> um, two types of Vidya. Yeah. Two types of Vidya. What, what are the two types of Vidya or knowledge in the Shastra? <clears throat> ah. Paravidya and Aparavidya. Both are Vidya. One dealing especially with the trans transcendental plane, Paravidya. <clears throat> uh, Living entity actually is described in the Bhagavad Gita as uh, para prakriti, para prakriti, the soul, whereas material nature is described as apara prakriti. So, <clears throat> so apara, uh, 
Vidya is knowledge, but in knowledge and connection with Krishna and knowledge and connection with how the world is actually functioning. And when that is absent, then that becomes what is being described here as, as being inert or, or, or uh, described in Sanskrit as avidya. Paravidya, aparavidya, avidya. Avidya means ignorance. Huh? No knowledge. Om Magyana Timirandasya. We recite that every day to remind us of our position. <clears throat> the subject matter of this book is not a mental concoction, but a factual spiritual experience that one can realize only by accepting the line of disciplic succession described above. Any deviation from that line can bewilder the reader's understanding of the mystery. We are entering into something mysterious. Uh, will bewilder the reader's understanding of the mystery of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, which is transcendental literature meant for the postgraduate study of one who has realized all the Vedic literatures, such as the Upanishads and Vedanta, and their natural commentaries, such as Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. So we are entering a rather, I mean, a highest realm. Prabhupada, what are the four books that Prabhupada gave or emphasized? Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhaktira Sankarasana. Nectar and Devotion. Yeah, Bhakti. <laughs> and Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Yeah. <clears throat> So just to finish on our introduction, and we'll just read one verse. This edition of uh, Sri Chaitanya Shatamrita is presented for the study of sincere scholars who are really seeking the absolute truth. It is not the arrogant scholarship of a mental speculator, but a sincere effort to serve the order of a superior authority, whose service is the life and soul of this humble effort. It does not deviate even slightly from the revealed scriptures, and therefore anyone who follows in the disciplic line will be able to realize the essence of this book simply by the method of oral reception, hearing attentively. <clears throat> the first chapter of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita begins with 14 Sanskrit verses that describe the absolute truth. 14. We will not read those 14 today. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we can do that next uh, Saturday. Then the next three Sanskrit verses describe... Hmm, so although the Chaitanya Charitamrita is written in Bengali, it begins with Sanskrit. The first 14 verses describe the absolute truth. Then the next three Sanskrit verses describe the principal deities of Vrindavan. <clears throat> what are the three principal deities of Vrindavan? In, in, in order. In order. In order. What does that mean, in order? <clears throat> in order means... Huh? Well, there's an order. <coughs> Sambanda, Abhideya, Prayojana. <coughs> Sambanda. So which is a deity for Sambanda? Madanamohan. Yes. Shisri, uh, Radha, Madana Mohan. And then? Radha Govinda. Govinda. Shri Radha Govinda Dev. You have the book? Salut. <laughs> no cell phone allowed in Bhagavatam class, including Chaitanya Chaitanya. And the third? 
Yes, and Sri Radha Gopinath Ji. The first of the 14 verses is a symbolic representation of the Supreme Truth, and the entire first chapter is in actuality devoted to this single verse which describes Lord Chaitanya in his six different transcendental expansions. <clears throat> the first manifestation described is the spiritual master who appears in two plenary parts called the initiating spiritual master and instructing spiritual master. They are identical because both of them are phenomenal manifestations of the su supreme truth. Next described are the devotees who are divided into two classes, namely the apprentices and the graduates. Next are the incarnations, avatars of the Lord, who are explained to be non-different from the Lord. These incarnations are considered in three divisions. Incarnations of the potency of the Lord, incarnation of his qualities, and incarna incarnations of his authority. In this connection, Lord Sri Krishna's direct manifestations and his manifestations from transcendental pastimes are discussed. Next considered are the potencies of the Lord, of which three principal manifestations are described. <clears throat> three principal manifestations. Number one, the consorts of the kingdom of God, Vaikuntha. Lakshmi's, Lakshmi Garayan. <clears throat> Number two, the queens of Dwarkadham. Yes. And highest of all, the damsels of Brajadham, the gopis. Finally, there is the Supreme Lord Himself who is the fountainhead of all these manifestations. And the last paragraph here. Lord Sri Krishna and his plenary expansions are all in the category of the Lord himself, the energetic absolute truth, whereas his devotees, his eternal associates, are his energies. The energy and energetic are fundamentally one, but since their functions are differently exhibited, they are simultaneously different also. Thus, the Absolute Truth is manifested in diversity in one unit. This philosophical truth, which is pursuant to the Vedanta Sutras, and devotees have heard it often, is called Achinta Veda Abheda Tattva, or the conception of simultaneous oneness and difference. In the latter portion of this chapter, the transcendental position of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and that of Sri La Nityananda Prabhu are described with reference to the above theistic facts. So, Sri Prabhupada has already warned us in this introduction that the subject matter of the Chaitanya Charitamrita is very high. <laughs> So we should not be surprised if we cannot capture everything mm -hmm. immediately or even after a long time. <laughs> so uh, this begins our reading from uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita and uh, we uh, can begin next Sunday at the uh, <clears throat> from text number one the first 14 verses being in Sanskrit, as mentioned by Srila Prabhupada. Any comments? Questions? Sometimes I will say that Chaitanya Bhagavad is Sometimes, we, your question is, sometimes we say Chaitanya Bhagavat is more important. Is Who says that? One devotee was telling. Yeah, one devotee. The devotee is telling so many things. One <laughs> 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 <And> devotee. <laughs> so you will listen to one devotee or you will listen to Prabhupada? He was mentioning that uh, like, uh, somebody will never leave Bhagavad Gita, some will leave and uh, take, like, Srila Bhagavad 
more dangerous than just take sense of taking it bhagavad. Even if you drown, also never leave that. It's here today. So that way he was comparing and putting Chaitanya Bhagavad like that, topmost. So Chaitanya Chaitanya Bhagavad is one and both. Well, as Prabhupada mentioned at the very end of his introduction, we very much follow the Achinta Beda, Beda Tattva. <laughs> so it is simultaneously, uh, <clears throat> they're, because they're both related, you know, Chaitanya Bhagavat is also a very elevated uh, <clears throat> rendering of the past times of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> At the same time, our founder, Charya Siddha Prabhupada, has given us uh, has chosen to translate this particular rendering of the past signs of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and therefore we um, <clears throat> accept and recognize the Chaitanya Charitamrita as the foremost uh, writing <clears throat> not to minimize other writings such as Chaitanya Bhagavad etc. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, last comments or questions? Uh, I, one year before going to Pandarpur, one uh, devotee told, he will become GBC. <laughs> one devotee told? <laughs> told me, that you will also be? come GBC. I am not understand. Uh, I have what GBC program? He told, no, every day you read uh, Gita, Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitam. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, I started uh, three books also reading every day. No problem, no matter. I not finished the Bhagavatam. I am going to start uh, reading Chaitanya Charitam. It's not no problem any. Uh, no, no. Papa gave us all of these books. Uh, <clears throat> what is most important to uh, <clears throat> begin with, of course, is the Bhagavad Gita. We should have a firm understanding of the <coughs> content of the Bhagavad Gita, then it will make our reading or hearing <coughs> from the other literatures um, easier. Yeah. <coughs> so this the Lord had mentioned about GBC. <laughs> GBC being Bhagavad Gita, B Bhagavatam, and C Chaitanya Shukhamrita. <clears throat> That's a nice way of meditating on GBC. <laughs> Three foremost <clears throat> Vaishnava literatures. Yeah. Any other? Jai Gantarashma Bhagavatam Makim Jai Sri Chaitanya Shatramita Ki Gaura Pimanandi Jai 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 Jai